Good morning everyone and welcome to Thailand. As you can see, this is not the first day of the tour. This is in fact the last day of the tour and the last hole has been played badly. So it's all over and I'm flying home tomorrow. So what's coming up is 13 rounds of golf or is it 14? I forget. Let's call it 13. Now the first week you're going to see somebody exceptionally jet lagged and suffering in the heat. I don't know why some people get here and they go to bed and they sleep for 10 hours. I'm the sort of guy who goes to bed and then wakes up and goes, what time is it? Oh, it's 11. I've been in bed half an hour. And then at 2 o'clock. What time is it? It's, oh, it's two o'clock. My body simply will not switch onto Thai time for a good week. It takes a long time. So I am awake at night and you'd be surprised at how many phone calls I've been making from my stack of pillows at what is three in the morning here, but evening at home. Now the middle week it's a bit cloudy, it's a bit cooler, I'm more on tight time, we play some decent golf. And then the third week, it is hot, bright and sunny every single day. I'm getting cooked, I'm finishing my round of golf with a banging headache. In fact, it, the headache's starting during the round of golf. And it all gets a bit ropey in the end. Now what you're about to see is different golf courses. Some I, one course I played three times, one course I played twice, but generally different courses with different hazards, different problems that we've got to solve. So I'll be talking through the videos about the hazards and about what we should possibly take off the tee or how safe we should play or whether a particular hole is balls to the wall and we go for it. Because every hole's different, so every hole requires a different, a different thought when you're stood on the tee box. There's quite a lot of mistakes coming up. There's also quite a lot of gimmies. Now there's three or even four reasons for the gimmies. The first thing, I'm the idiot with the camera. And I have got to get out of other people's way. So when you're playing as a three, a four, or even a five ball, this thing on a tripod on the green is in other people's way who want to put. So quite often I'm putting up to the hole two and a half feet and I'm just picking the ball up and getting out of other people's way. It's so important that I do not become the problem. Another reason for picking up is pressure from behind. Slow play here out in Thailand is a major, major problem. So when you're putting on a par 3 green and you're looking back and there's two groups on the tee waiting for you to get out of the way because the two four balls in front are intent on taking five hours to get round, then I just tend to pick up and get the hell out of dodge. The third reason I pick up is because it's bright, hot and sunny, my head is banging, all I want to do is get back in the shade. So there's three reasonable-ish reasons why I don't put out. Now you might say, well you didn't put out so your score counts for nothing. Okay, my score counts for nothing. We'll uh, leave it at that and we can argue about it some other time over a beer. So 13 rounds coming up and there'll be a couple of these chats that I wanted to do uh, or redo because I've already done them, sat on this bed in this room and I just wanted to rephrase a few things. So I hope you get something out of this, how I tackle certain holes and whether I get it right or even if I get it wrong. See you on the first tee, and I'll try and have my eyes open 
so I can hit the ball. Ta-ra!